We all know that our world is collapsing by by certain creations we made and the desire for more that blossoms in our heart. But what if our very own creation prevents this as mine and extends that due date? Well then, what is it? Could it be AI? One of our most famous pieces of technology? Could it be our savior and help us recover from our previous mistake while making this a place a better a place to live in? Anyway, hi, my name is Venetia and I'm in South Gray and today I have the honor in presenting my business case, AI to assist or God in the uh, uh, Department of Agricultural Science. Sadly, in this world, there are 2.4 billion people who face hunger as they have less access to or money to buy food. These people have this uh, salvage around to find food to cool down their rumbling stomach. To top this off, this number is increasing as 140 million babies are born per year and 200,000 farms are running out of business. This shows that 570 million farms will have to make food for 8 billion people, which is a lot, but hopefully my business can help solve this issue. In the USA, AI in agriculture is surprisingly common as 87% of farms use AI and other pieces of tech but only for decision making. Meanwhile, it, the actual 27% actually use AI and other pieces of advanced technology at work. So many other farms use tough manual labors. I'm talking about the ones who do not use AI and other pieces of tech. This shows why many farms are running out of business due to lower pay, production expenses rising, lack of manual labors, and less land, and etc. But buying business has an extra helping hand, which is AI and other advanced technologies that can be used to that can be used to uh, make produce more with less, like anonymous farming technology, like drones, agribuff, and be more productive with smaller land by doing vertical farming. Right over there, you can see an example of vertical farming as you're farming plants on top of another plant we're, we're using the minimum space. And you can also use agribot to help uh, um, water and maintain these plants at towering height, heights. Also, agribots have sensors. These sensors are used to, uh, um, to efficiently see which fruits are ripe and uh, fat, um, be quick, uh, quickly, um, quickly harvest fruits like ten produces per second. Also, certain box like Poco and on the water underground, water underground can uh, also help us know what the what the water patterns are, so you can know when to plant or harvest certain plants. Also, surprisingly, ChatGPT, our chatting buddy, can also help us identify which areas are need to be irrigated, fertilized, or which crops are more vulnerable to plant diseases. Therefore, farmers will have an inside hook of what um, what to do and not to do. So, um, this will help my business feed 10 billion people in 2050. An average farm costs a revenue opportunity of $200 per acre of that has been harvested and sold. But mine will be $100 or even less, which will be around half, um, which will be much more uh, easier on you, for your wallet to digest. But of course, to get all this dream work started, I would need around uh, some money to get a push, around let's say $6,000, which is very little compared to many other farms usage for starting their business. I will use 50% on buying AI systems and advanced technology, 25% on buying me uh, mechanics and other la uh, manual labor, 10% on natural and organic fertilizer, and the rest 5% to push my business if it ever struggles due to certain threats. These threats could be AI being banned in the country my farms will be located, or people protesting against AI. In this scenario, I would simply just stop using AI, as I will start using um, pieces of tech that are equivalent to AI. Therefore, my business will be able to sustain without crashing down. Therefore, uh, thus, um, 
it will be a much more wider uh, option to uh, invest your money into my business. Compared to all the other uh, businesses, my business sells a need that everyone needs, no matter who you are. There's a survival world. Three minutes you can survive three minutes without air, three minutes, uh, three days without water, and three weeks without food. And also, did you know that fifty percent of the diseases are caused by now caused by malnutrition? And have you ever wondered why billionaires are all of a sudden starting to buy farmland? Is it because the fear of lacks access to food for the future generation? My business is also uh, uh, willing to provide food for the USA to give to uh, to give food supplies to the Ukraine and Israel without the Great Depression repeating itself. My business, uh, me and my business, will also be willing to donate to local food fundraisers and local charities. So it's up to you to choose. Where, uh, whether your future will have access, uh, will starve due to the less access of food, or will be able to thrive through as, uh, as the, uh, things get more dramatic as time flies by. One cannot think well, uh, well, sleep well, if one has not died well by Virginia Woolf. Thank you.